Hey, this is John Glennon of the Tennessee, and we're taking a look at the cornerback position for the Titans as training camp approaches. We'll take a look at uh, three different uh, three different spots here. First, uh, it's certainly a position that, that needs to be upgraded this year for the Titans. Last year, uh, they did finish pretty well overall against the pass, but still gave up 34 touchdown passes, one of the highest figures in the league. Opposing quarterbacks had a quarterback rating over 100 against the Titans, which is also one of the highest in the league. So, so serious problems there. Uh, number two, though, let's talk about some of the uh, the new additions that, that the Titans have at the cornerback spot this year. Uh, two of them are draft picks, LaShawn Sims and Kalen Reed, a fifth round pick and a seventh round pick. Uh, Kalen Reed, of course, is Mr. Irrelevant, the last overall pick in the draft, but he had a very good offseason himself. Uh, and I think both of these guys can uh, can make an impact on the team. I think especially Reed, uh, the, the last pick. Free agent signing Bryce McCain will essentially take the place of Cody Sensiball last year. He's probably going to be the nickelback, but don't be surprised if he gives Parrish Cox a run for his money as one of the starting cornerbacks. Which leads me to my third and, and final point. The Titans are happy to have both of their starters from last year, Jason McCourty and Parrish Cox, healthy together. Those two only played one full game together because of injuries last year. McCourty only played four games overall. So as of right now, both Jason McCourty and Parrish Cox are healthy, and those are the penciled-in starters right now. If they can at least play half the season together, that's a huge uh, improvement over last year. So that's our look at the cornerback spot. Uh, this is John Glennon from the Tennessean.